It's hump day and it's Jupiter direct day. Which one do you want to applaud first? (laughs) Thomas Miller on the Fun Astrology Podcast on the day before Thanksgiving, Wednesday, the 23rd of November. Hope you are going to have a wonderful holiday weekend with your family if you're in the United States. I've got three audiobooks kind of going concurrently, so I'm going to use it as a wonderful work day. And in fact, I'll take tomorrow off because there's nothing going on in the sky. We'll catch it all today. So the big deal today is at 6.02 this evening. Make it 6 p.m. Jupiter finally turns direct. It has been in retrograde since July 28th. Big, long retrograde, all of August, September, October, November, and here we are. Finally, we get to move things forward. And, you know, it's like I'm talking to a lot of you that things are popping in your life over just the last couple of weeks. That's the stuff of Jupiter transiting to turn direct. Because, remember, it's more powerful when it stations. So, for the last couple of weeks... And because it's such a long retrograde and it's a slower mover, at least in compared to Venus or Mercury, when it slows down or when it has been slowing down over the last couple of weeks, then it is definitely more powerful. So when it turns, it will be at 28 degrees, 48 minutes back in Pisces, its home sign. Now, because it's at starting out here at 28 degrees and 48 minutes, so it's like almost 29, I wanted to see when it does turn 29 degrees, and that's going to be on Sunday, December 4th. That is one day after Neptune, the co-ruler of Pisces, turns direct on December 3rd. So Neptune right now is at a crawl. Jupiter is more or less standing still. Neptune turns direct on the 3rd. Jupiter moves into the 29th degree of Pisces on the on the 4th. And that's significant because then it's almost half back into Aries again. But look, at least we have from the 3rd to the 20th with both co-rulers still in Pisces and both out of retrograde moving in direct motion. What does that mean? Well, I'll tell you what I wish it meant. I wish it meant that the truth would start to come out in large-scale ways, Jupiter-magnified ways, that as Neptune slows down to station in a week and a half, that the mask would start to drop, and that Jupiter, sitting there almost still, would catch a hold of that and magnify it. And I mean, that's collectively, and that's for us individually, too. I mean, I don't know what the collective truth is anymore. The mask is so efficient right now, it's how do you parse it out? Well, that's what I hope really would happen. I don't know that it will, but boy, it would be great if it did. Something that a lot of people anticipated when Jupiter entered Aries was that the whole virus thing would start to fade. I hope that continues. However, while Jupiter will be in Aries there for the first part of next year, we also have Saturn eventually moving into Pisces. That happens in early March of next year, just a couple of weeks before Pluto moves into Aquarius for the first time. So a lot of shifting here is ahead of us, and Jupiter is going to be one of the preliminaries of that when it moves back into Aries on December 20th. Now, Jupiter entered Aries earlier this year in early May, so you could look back at May, June, July to see what Jupiter in Aries in direct motion was like. Then at the end of July, it turned retrograde. So you've got that August, September, October, November, what Jupiter in Aries retrograde was like. Kind of separate those out in your mind. So you could analyze late May, mid-May to late May, June, and July. That's Jupiter direct in Aries. Then you could look at August through November. That's Jupiter retrograde. Go back and think what happened in your life during those months that it was direct. And that's at least a little bit of a glimpse of what we might be dealing with after it transitions in there on December 20th. That's a lot of stuff to (laughs) kind of unpack there. But this is really getting delicate here. And I've been narrating this 2023 forecast book for Ray Merriman, just the mundane part. We're not even narrating the market part. We've decided that the just the mundane part is what's going to be on. And it is incredible. And 2023 to 2026 
is an amazing shift period on the planet. We'll have more on that book as it comes out in mid-December, but an amazing look through all of the minutiae, all the moving parts that's going to be happening over the next three years. You know, we picked an amazing time to be on this planet, guys. And right now, I think we're kind of in the saddle in between what set the stage, which was Saturn-Pluto in January of 2020, Saturn-Jupiter, which was in December of 2020, then what we've been through the last couple of years. And now we're basically at the precipice of the shift. And this Jupiter turning direct, clipping the last degree and a half in Pisces and then moving into Aries is likely to be a big factor in that transition. So these are really exciting times. Hope you guys have a wonderful holiday if you're in the United States. I'm going to take the day off, be back Friday. We'll do Ray Merriman on Saturday. But I hope you have a really good weekend with your family and friends. Take care. Sending you love.